are blessed today. We are blessed every day, alhamdulillah. The believer believes this. He's not just saying it. And if the ego and shaitan is tricking, he's going to find a reason and to sit and to remember the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Because whichever of the favors of our Lord can we deny. It is from Surah Rahman. We are blessed today because we managed to have a Juma. How nice it is to have a Juma here in the Darga. You remember those days we have Juma outside of the Darga? What a torture it was. Hmm. Oof. Well, we are blessed today because we are witnessing someone from his sincerity accepting Islam and accepting Tariqat and is reminding us. It should remind us where we are, where we were, where we want to be. That's why the Jama'at is very important. Jama'at, not just uh, high class Jama'at, everyone is the same, high class, you know. Or everyone is the same skin color, Pakistani, Pakistani, black, black, Chinese, Chinese. Or a Jama'at belonging to a certain socio-economic bracket. No. The beauty of the trees, the beauty of the forests, especially in the mountains, is when you see every tree is different from the other and everyone is growing beautifully. And in that difference, when you look at everything, it gives you a beauty that pulls you. And there is a perfection there. And the beauty of the Jamaat, like what Shaykh Fendi is saying, you have a problem, someone else has a solution. Someone has a problem, someone else has a solution. Because it is hidden, you don't know. You don't know. Who is that friend of Allah at that time? You don't know who is that one that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that time. The Ottomans, they have a saying, the Turks, they have a saying, treat every person as if he is Hizr alayhi salam and treat every night like it is Laylatul Qadir. Everyone is going to rush to find Laylatul Qadir in the month of Ramazan, the last 10 days, is good to run. But every night is a night of power. If you witness the power of every night, you're not going to be foolishly just looking for that one night in that whole year. You're going to take advantage of every night in that year. That time you're not going to look for Hizr alayhi salam. You're going to find Hizr. Who is Hizr? Hizr alayhi salam is that friend of Allah. Hizr alayhi salam is that one who grants wishes and duas. Hizr alayhi salam is that one who is a friend of Allah. Hizr alayhi salam is that one who guided one of the highest prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Musa alayhi salam, kalimullah was given shariat. Hazir alayhi salam was the one who was guiding him into an understanding of tariqah. And in this month of Ramadan, to say la ilaha illallah, like what we heard in the khutbah, it is advice from the Prophet ﷺ. To say La ilaha illallah, not just to pull your tasbih to say La ilaha illallah, but to understand and to get rid of the ilahs and to put Allah. So all the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is given to us. The believer believes. And in that jama'at, 
that one next to you that you're looking so down on. He may be beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He may be the one that because of an action that he did, even if he thinks that it is a small action, but there's nothing in divine presence as something that is small and something that is big. In divine presence is a level feel. It's the same. You don't know what a person in the Jamaat have done today that is so pleasing to Allah that his Lord is putting his look on that one, his tajali on that one. And that one, at that moment, whatever he puts his hands up and he says, Amin, it will be. This is why the Jamaat is very important. It is not only to teach respect and tolerance and understanding, it is reality. But you don't know who is that one. Alhamdulillah, we don't belong to the Jamaat, though, that although I'm saying all this, that you don't know who is a saint, Alhamdulillah, with the blessings only of our Shaykh, and Shaykh Maulana, and all the Grand Shaykhs, we are not that Jamaat that everyone thinks that they are saints. That they are not going around to test each other to say, I'm a saint, you know. You have to take it from me. You don't know whether I'm a saint or I'm not a saint because the Sohbat says you don't know. Because we treat everyone like they are Hazira alayhi salam. But the saying does not say, treat yourself like Hazira alayhi salam. So, we are happy because our Shaykh has that stick on us and is training us and keeping us in check. Alhamdulillah. So we are very fortunate, Alhamdulillah, to witness that. Someone who is new and who is coming, of course he's not the only one. Every time we have that so many times, but there is something different about today. The person was looking and to see the love that he has for his Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also to see the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for him. To just witness it must make everyone to be humble. And to say, this one is coming with so much faith. Where is my faith? Where am I? Where was I? I had that maybe some time ago. How did I lose it? So in a Jamaat, you have that opportunity. And you have that blessing. And slowly, inshallah, we start to believe. So you ask the question, what is the difference between a believer and a friend of Allah? A believer believes. A friend of Allah witnesses. He witnesses. Friend of Allah, yes, every friend of Allah is a believer, of course. But then he start to witness. That is the difference. When you start to witness, when they start to witness, not us, not you or me, when they start to witness, what do they witness? What we're supposed to witness. What are we supposed to witness? Allah. What are we supposed to witness? The Prophet What are we supposed to witness? The blessings of namaz. Saum Ramadan. Zakat. Hajjibaitul Haq. What are we supposed to witness after we believe? Aman to billahi wa malaikatihi wa kadar. So, you start witnessing. But don't think it is witnessing the way that you think it is. There are so many different ways of witnessing. And once you witness, it must give you something. Once you witness, there is a responsibility. It is not just a power of witnessing. What are you going to do now with that power? And that is something that is a heavy responsibility. 
Because now, if you did not witness, if there is a veil between you and that reality, you are still safe to commit things, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Because you are not in that area where you're going to be responsible. But once that veil is lifted from you, you're going to be responsible. And you have to answer. You cannot blame anyone. We have to answer. That kind of training where you have to answer, you have to be responsible, you have to be accountable, that nothing, no small or big thing that you can mm, escape from, that kind of training is only available here, alhamdulillah, from our share. Others, they may say, don't worry about yesterday, don't worry about tomorrow, today is passing. Some they say, don't worry about anything, love, love, dance. Some they say, don't worry, everyone has to unite, subhanallah. If you look, majority of the scholars and majority of the other ones, the imams and leaders, they all say, don't worry. They all say it's filled with love. They all say everything is happy. And I'm saying, are you kidding me? The way that you say everything is filled with love and don't worry and the way you're describing it, that we must live in paradise. But we're living in hell. We turn this world into a hell. We must worry. We must worry. They're saying, the friends of Allah, they don't grieve and they don't worry. That ayat is saying, no. They don't grieve and they don't worry. Why do you think that ayat is saying? They don't grieve and they don't worry about Allah. They don't grieve and they don't worry about this dunya. Anything that Allah gives them, they don't grieve and they don't worry. Because they are pleased with their Lord and their Lord is pleased with them. And anything that comes to them, they are pleased with. They don't grieve and they don't worry. But like the prophets, they always grieve and they always worry about the ummat. Can we say the Prophet ﷺ never worries about his ummat? Can we say that? If you say that, <laughs> you might lose your faith. He's always grieving and worrying. The ayat is saying, the ayat of Laka Jaakum, his Rauf and his Rahim, and he's always constantly worrying. His worry and care for us, for this ummah, is more than a mother has to her newborn baby. Those who are following his footsteps, they always worry. So there are signs now. There is a difference. Because once you witness, then you're going to say, ah, how am I able to do this? Once you witness, you say, ah, how are they going to do this? Don't we see this every time the prophets were given something? Don't we see this every time in every story? Our aim is to be servants, to serve those ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and to serve the creation in whatever capacity that we can. That is our aim. Our aim is not to become awliya. Those who aim to become awliya, the ego is already involved anyway. Those who say I'm nothing, you are speaking from your ego. How can nothing speaks? Nothing cannot speak. Nothing is nothing. Nothing is zip. So you are something, and they say something. Claiming. Everyone is claiming these days so many things. But when we look, we don't see it. We don't claim anything. We are following Russia. That is enough for us. Are we successfully uh, 
being in his way, we're trying our best. And the way that he trained us, the best is never good enough. But we are happy with that. Because that means that we're always running to please him, to please the Prophet, and to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is giving an open ayat, run for the sake of Allah, run and compete. Because every time we run, every time we say, mm, no, it's not good enough, we must do better, we must do better. Our daraja, our uh, station is raised higher because our sins start falling away. It's more forgiveness that comes. We're not saying we did it, we did something. May we always be with the friends of Allah and be in their way. Hmm. This much is enough, inshallah, Rahman. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Any other questions anyone has? Give.